Here are five myths about tackling climate change. Now that the arguments about whether this is climate change or not are over, we've opened a whole new can of worms about arguments on what to do to solve this problem. To be able to cut emissions, we don't just need to cut emissions from the electricity sector, but also from transport, from agriculture, and from industry. Each of those sectors will need different technologies to be able to cut emissions. Renewable electricity is great. Solar and wind turbines work, and we are scaling them up really fast. But we are also going to need electric cars, and new methods of agriculture, and ways to cut emissions from cement, steel, and chemicals. As the impacts of climate change become more severe, the temptation would be to simply manage the impacts we feel rather than tackle the root of the problem. Adaptation without mitigation is futile. Take the example of Manhattan. There is an idea currently to build a wall around Manhattan to manage the seas when they rise because of climate change. We could do that for Manhattan and we might even be able to save it, but we're not going to be able to save all the coastline around the world. So eventually, if we want to stop sea levels from rising, we have to cut emissions. Playing the blame game slows down progress. We've known definitively that humans are the cause of climate change since the 1980s. We've held annual climate meetings to be able to figure out how to solve this problem since the 1990s. But it took us until 2015 for all the world's countries to come together to sign the Paris Climate Agreement. The reason for the delay was countries fighting among themselves to figure out who is really to blame for this problem. What we've now figured out is that we all are to blame, although some countries are to blame more than others. Even though all of us have to cut emissions, some may have to do that sooner than others. Is capitalism the problem? Some say the only way to tackle climate change is to dismantle capitalism. It's a tempting idea, but the climate problem comes with a time limit. The longer we wait to act, the worse it gets. A more pragmatic way forward would be to rein in the excesses of capitalism and use regulations to shape markets. And in the end, acting on climate change comes with other benefits. Using electric cars doesn't just cut carbon emissions, but it also cuts air pollution. Regrowing forests doesn't just cool the planet, but it also helps species thrive. Making your home energy efficient doesn't just cut energy use, but also saves you money. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but it's a start to not be stuck on old arguments. I'd be keen to hear your thoughts. I'm Akshat Rati. Follow us on Quick Take and Bloomberg.